Grant, we shouldn't forget here ever that Muslims around the world, in America and elsewhere, are victims of this too. It's not like these, these savage terrorist animals, these slobs, that when they go out and they kill people, they go, oh, wait, hold on, let's get the Muslims out of here first. When they knocked down those buildings on 9-11, they didn't put out like a, a, a skywriting memo that said, hey, Muslims evacuate in advance. I mean, look at overseas, Grant. Who's the victim of these terrorist animals overseas? Muslims. So, you know, you would think, and I would bet you a lot of patriotic Muslims out there are like, you know what? Bring on some of these investigators in our communities. I'm tired of these guys. I don't want to be associated with these mutts either. So I'm, I'm glad you brought that up. They're, they're victims too here. It's, it's really, you know, this is, these killers don't care about your religion, even if you're one of, one of them, as they say. They only care, Dan, that you subscribe to the ideology that they subscribe to, and that is kill and wipe out any non-believer that doesn't believe in their radical way of thinking. That goes for Muslims. It goes for Jews, it goes for Christians, it goes yeah. for Buddhists. If you don't agree with their jihad, yeah. they want you wiped off the face of the earth. Yeah, Grant, and now that they've moved to this, uh, as we said yesterday, this low logistics kind of small arms tactical assaults, pipe bombs, Boston bombing type thing, these types of attacks don't leave the investigative clues behind. Because there's just not a lot of footprints. There's not a lot of advanced planning. There's not a lot of equipment purchases where someone in a store can be like, wait, why is this guy buying flight training and he's not learning how to land the plane? That stuff doesn't happen. So you brought up a good point in your open there, how we have to be. We have to go out and be proactive. I say this all the time. We have to be arsonists. We cannot be firemen. We can't be putting out the fires afterwards. We have to go start investigative fires. We've got to shake the trees. We have to have people in these Muslim communities in advance that have developed quality, strong sources who can say, hey, we got a guy who just came into the community here. He's out talking about all this radical stuff and killing people. Oh, really? And then, you know, obviously, everybody gets their constitutional rights. We do an appropriate investigation. Hopefully, we stop it in advance. Yeah. But we absolutely have to be proactive. That's a good point.